Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In recent weeks, a significant uproar has erupted over Prince Harry's involvement in a polo series, with the animal rights organization PETA leading the charge for a boycott. The controversy centers around allegations of animal cruelty associated with the sport of polo, particularly with the treatment of horses. As the public becomes more aware of animal welfare issues, incidents involving high-profile figures like Prince Harry attract widespread attention and scrutiny. It's essential to delve into the complexities of this situation, exploring the history of polo, the role of PETA, and the implications of these claims for both the sport and Prince Harry's public image. Polo, often referred to as the sport of kings, has long been associated with elite circles and royal families. The sport involves riders on horseback hitting a ball with mallets, showcasing not only the skill of the players, but also the training and treatment of the horses involved. While polo can be visually stunning and exhilarating, it raises critical questions about the welfare of the animals used in the game. PETA, which stands for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, has consistently advocated for the humane treatment of animals across various industries, including entertainment, fashion, and food. Their mission is to draw attention to animal abuse and to promote a world where animals are not exploited for human entertainment. The recent call for a boycott of Prince Harry's polo series has sparked heated discussions online and in the media. PETA released a statement outlining their position, claiming that the sport can lead to significant physical and psychological stress for the horses involved. They argue that the demands of polo, including rigorous training and the competitive nature of the game, can result in injuries and long-term health issues for the horses. PETA also highlighted specific incidents in which horses have suffered on the field. Some have even died as a result of injuries sustained during matches. This has led many animal rights activists and concerned citizens to rally behind PETA's message, urging fans of the royal family to reconsider their support for the polo series. As the campaign gained momentum, social media platforms became a battleground for opinions on both sides. Supporters of PETA shared educational content, personal stories, and graphic images aimed at raising awareness about the treatment of horses in polo. The hashtag hashtag Boycott Prince Harry began trending drawing attention from mainstream media and celebrities alike. Many influential figures expressed their dismay over the perceived endorsement of animal cruelty, while others defended Prince Harry, arguing that he has been a vocal advocate for various charitable causes, including mental health and environmental issues. The backlash against Prince Harry does not merely rest on allegations of animal cruelty. It also taps into the broader conversation about celebrity culture and accountability. As public figures, Celebrities are often held to a higher standard, and their actions are scrutinized through the lens of social responsibility. In this case, Prince Harry's participation in polo, an activity that some deem outdated and elitist, raises questions about his alignment with contemporary values regarding animal welfare. Despite his philanthropic efforts, critics argue that participating in such a sport undermines his credibility as an advocate for change. While the debate rages on, it's essential to consider the broader context of animal welfare in sports and entertainment. Many organizations, including PETA, have campaigned against various forms of animal exploitation, from circuses to dog racing. The conversation surrounding animal rights has evolved over the years, and more people are becoming aware of the ethical implications of their entertainment choices. This shift in public sentiment has led to a re-evaluation of traditional practices, prompting sports like polo to consider their approach to animal welfare and the treatment of horses. As the pressure mounts, Prince Harry and the organizers of the polo series must navigate the backlash carefully. In the face of public outcry, they may need to address the concerns raised by PETA and their supporters. This could involve implementing stricter welfare standards for the horses, increasing transparency about their treatment, and engaging in open dialogue with animal rights advocates. Failure to respond adequately could result in a loss of public support, tarnishing not only the Polo series but also Prince Harry's reputation as a compassionate leader. As the backlash against Prince Harry's Polo series intensifies, PETA has outlined specific accusations regarding animal cruelty that they claim are prevalent within the sport. Central to PETA's argument are the physical and psychological tolls that Polo can impose on horses. The organization asserts that the rigorous demands of the sport can lead to a range of health issues, including injuries, stress, and even death. Their campaign, which calls for a boycott of the polo series, 
is grounded in both anecdotal evidence and documented cases of horse suffering. One of the primary accusations from PETA revolves around the physical injuries that horses can sustain during polo matches. The organization highlights that the fast-paced nature of the game often leads to collisions, falls, and other accidents that can result in serious harm. They cite specific instances where horses have suffered fractures, tendon injuries, and soft tissue damage as a direct consequence of playing polo. For instance, PETA points to reports of horses being euthanized after sustaining irreparable injuries during matches. These tragic outcomes underscore the dangers that these animals face, prompting PETA to question whether the thrill of polo justifies the risks to the horse's well-being. In addition to injuries incurred during play, PETA has raised concerns about the training methods employed in the sport. The organization argues that the intense training regimens required to prepare horses for polo can be detrimental to their health. PETA claims that horses may be pushed beyond their physical limits, resulting in exhaustion and burnout. Furthermore, they assert that practices such as excessive whipping or the use of harsh training tools may be commonplace, contributing to both physical pain and psychological distress. PETA's position is that any sport that necessitates such treatment of animals is inherently abusive and should be subject to scrutiny. Moreover, PETA has provided evidence from veterinary professionals and animal welfare experts who have voiced their concerns about the treatment of horses in polo. These experts have conducted studies and published articles discussing the impact of high-intensity sports on equine health. PETA has leveraged these findings to bolster their claims, arguing that the consensus among professionals is that the welfare of the animals involved is often compromised in pursuit of competition and success. The organization emphasizes that the voices of these experts should be taken seriously, as they highlight the need for reform within the sport. PETA has also drawn attention to the conditions under which polo horses are kept when they are not competing. The organization argues that many horses in the polo industry are kept in inadequate living conditions, which can exacerbate health issues. They convey that horses may be confined to small spaces without adequate exercise, leading to physical and mental strain. Furthermore, PETA highlights that the breeding practices for polo ponies can be problematic, as some horses are bred for specific physical traits at the expense of their overall health. This raises ethical questions about the prioritization of performance over the animal's well-being. In response to PETA's accusations, supporters of the polo community have pushed back, arguing that many players and organizations within the sport prioritize the care and welfare of their horses. They contend that responsible polo players implement comprehensive training programs that focus on the health and well-being of the horses. Proponents of polo assert that the sport has made strides in recent years to improve standards of care, including adherence to veterinary guidelines, regular health checks, and the implementation of welfare protocols. Despite these counterarguments, PETA's accusations have gained traction, particularly in the context of a broader societal shift toward increased awareness of animal rights. The organization is leveraging social media to amplify their message, sharing graphic images and testimonials that illustrate the potential harms faced by polo horses. This strategy has resonated with many viewers who are increasingly concerned about animal welfare in all aspects of entertainment and sports.